Hi, Trevor here, reflecting on live tree music. Thank you for stopping by. Well, coming again today, you're very, very welcome. I trust everybody enjoyed my last video on Daniel Pelter. And through his mega hit, really, it was massive, bad day. We looked at that very thing. What do you do when you have a bad day? What do you do when other people have a bad day and they're talking to you about it? So I trust you found that one encouraging. We're going from there to 1962 in Bar 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 Barawa, New South Wales. Uh, I suppose country New South Wales. Um, this guy came from a very, very musical family indeed. And he attended the Sydney Conservatorium of Music and it was there that he, he met the iconic Dan Burroughs. The guy we're talking about is probably one of the best trumpet players in the world, this guy, James Morrison. Now, uh, James, uh, well, music was just going to be his thing, really, and he, he, he set out to be one of the best trumpet players of all time, really. Well, in this current era, that is for sure. We'll get onto some live, live clips in a minute that just show how good this guy is. And he is an Australian treasure, this guy, well and truly. Um, whenever he performs, everyone just flocks to see him. Everybody loves him. He's just an all-round nice guy. Um, his story, his musical journey started in 1983 with the Morrison Brothers Big Band. And uh, that was a 13-piece band that, he, that him and his brothers got together. And they did release an album, A Night in Tunisia. And so we've got a live version of that particular track for you. Um, he, um, you can see already... Trumpets, let's just talk about trumpets for a second. You know, think about a piano, you put a finger on every note, and that's how you get the note. Think about uh, saxophones, clarinets, that sort of stuff. You get every finger on every note, every note has a bit of a bit of a uh, pattern to it. Trumpets, nine. You only got three valves, and then you've got to do it all with your mouth. So when you get up very, very high like this guy absolutely can, you start to realise how difficult this stuff is that he's doing. Just remember, it's all done with the lips. And the lips have to be really, really, really tough. They really, really do. You cannot not have tough lips. You've got to do lip exercises. You've got to do everything to be able to play the trumpet like this guy absolutely can. And so just whenever you, when you, when you watch the clips, I've got a few coming up, just be aware that this is a trumpet. It's not the easiest of instruments to play and to get to the sound as good as this guy does is absolutely stunning. Um, this guy got very well known around the world playing with such greats as B.B. King and Ray Charles and George Benson, just to name a few. And so he was getting well known all around the world. And that tells you something about the calibre of this guy, absolutely. Um, he, um, it was a real treat if you got him to play on your album and you really just lifted the whole thing. Um, James Morris also done a bit of radio and TV as well. And in 2015, um, he, he opened the James Morrison Academy of Music. But the best way to end, uh, uh, before we get into his songs, oh, uh, so I talked about the live clip of A Night in Tunisia already, uh, to um, Air Awards, two ARI Awards, one APRA Awards, and 10 MO Awards, and their live awards. Uh, James Morrison is absolutely well regarded by the industry, absolutely. Uh, between 1984 and 2018, there's been 33 releases too, so this goes to show you um, just how well known he, he actually is. Now, I've got a clue, few clips here. I hopefully will get them in order. 1994, we got the theme from Mission Impossible. He had a bit of a collaboration with, with, the, with the conductor there, so it was so right that he would actually get to play one of his friend's songs, the Mission Impossible, absolutely iconic brass piece, that one. Of course, James goes into the whole um, improvisation halfway through, which is what you do when you're a jazz trumpeter. Um, also, we've got, to, I thought, well, is there a clip of him at Melbourne, Melbourne Carols by Candlelight? Um, if you get on that show, you know you have made it. And so we've got a bit of a beautiful uh, clip with a bit of improvisation there from Carols by Candlelight, 1994. Um, we then got um, I Am Australian in the year 2020. Um, this is around the time of COVID, so he's in a theatre 
on his own. There's something a bit spine tingling about this particular performance. I think James Morrison just needs to give Australia a lift, and there's nothing like one of a sort of sort of a pseudo national anthem. I am Australian, of course, written by the Seekers. I've got a live version of that one. We've also got him playing the piano, and you just watch him at the start. He can play the piano really, really well as well, and he does a bit of a combination of piano and trumpet together. I've got a live version of that, and move all the way forward to 2016 in Prague of all places, jazz. From A to Z, we've got a live version of him doing his stuff there. So in all of those clips there, you'll see that James Morrison is an absolute genius when it comes to trumpet playing. The consummate virtuoso performer that has certainly paved his way and brought the trumpet into the, into the current climate. Um, we need guys like this sometimes to actually give instruments a bit of a change, a bit of a lift, and James Morrison has absolutely done that. So it's great to give him a bit of a go today. Um, the links to those six clips are in the description below. And I've also included my last video from Daniel Pauta. If you want to recap on him, feel free. Well, if this is your first time, the Life Reflections of Music, or you've come to an, for another one, it's great to see everybody here. That's it for today. As we continue on with the Jays in this series, we're going to go on to Jars of Clay. Where you might be thinking, well, who are them? Who are they? Well... Tune in next time and I'll tell you all about them. So until then, I'll catch you around. Bye for now.